Ten Hut. Hi guys, General Splatton here. Got an update on the New Year's painting challenge. I've got uh, these figures mostly done. Uh, basically what you see is them having their base coats done and then I uh, did the, not the dip method, I just brush it on then wipe off the excess. So we're going to go in for a closer look on these guys. Alright, first we have Josh here. I was thinking of another character that had the dual wielding Molotov cocktails. I uh, don't remember his name, but this is one. Here he likes dual pistols. Gave him a freehand guillotine because that was on his artwork for his player card. Since it's guillotine games that made the game, put out by Cool Mini or not. Now these. Like I said, these have just been the the dip method, uh, but just brushed on. They hadn't even dried yet. I still got it in the drying box and let it dry overnight before I dull coat it and then maybe do some other stuff. All right, next up is Wanda. She's got her, I believe that's a Husqvarna chainsaw. I would have preferred a McCullough. But there she is. You can see the eye. I tried to do the eyes. I mean, the eyes aren't very defined, but there she is. The, the car hop. Next up is Ned. I like Ned. I like his colors on him. Um, Ned turned out pretty good. He's got his eyes in there, but I think because of the strong tone, you can't really see them. It's mostly black in there now. But he's going to look really cool. And there's his pro kids. I don't know what kind of tennis shoes. But anyway, I always call tennis shoes pro kids. It just sounds cool to me. Uh, he'll look good once he gets dull coated. And here's my namesake. This is Phil. And you can see. Yep. Anyway, he's got his eyes done. They're blue. But my eyes are blue. Of course, I never had a pompadour before. But anyway. Uh, he's channeling his inner Ace Ventura. There he is. I gave him a little free hand on the badge there. Another badge. And I gave him a gold bar. Now this is Doug. He's got his striped tie. And he's got his eyeballs there. This basic, you know, black and white in his satchel. There we go. Get it at the right distance so you can see. Now, <clears throat> I haven't uh, put the strong tone on Amy yet. And the reason being, okay, there she is. She's a goth chick. I gave her a little purple highlights because that's what was on everything. But what I, I want to show you this because I think it's going to be destroyed. And I'm probably wasting my time since I'm going to brush it on. But uh, the stockings. I did. I wanted to simulate stockings and it turned out pretty good for a first time. I did it a little bit on some of the zombies, but basically with white and then for the white stockings and a little bit of black. But this time I really wanted to try to, to do it right where you have the highlights on the calves there and then on the thighs. And I must say it turned out really well. Um, yes, you can do it a lot easier with an airbrush. Uh, Andrea Miniatures Master Painter Julio Cabos with an airbrush can make this look absolutely photorealistic. Uh, he's that good. Uh, but for a brush and a first attempt, I think these turned out pretty well. If you want a tutorial, let me know. I'm still playing around with it. I've got some things to learn, but I can get you pointed in the right direction. I think it uh, turned out pretty cool.
See, there on the thighs, and then back that way. So, looks better to me holding it than it does on the camera. But there's that. Now, what am I going to be up to next to since I'm about done with that? Well, I thought, hey, saw a cab video being painted the other day, and I thought, well, duh, I got these. So, I said, I could paint some of these. You're supposed to be able to just paint right over them without even priming them. Uh, surprisingly, I'm going to do a review on it, but this stuff's uh, easy to work with. I was very surprised. So, uh, perhaps I'll do, well, uh, since I already got this one cleaned up and ready to go, uh, I could do that one. And I thought about maybe this one. This is kind of reminds me of the hunchback or linebacker from uh, Mech Warrior 2. Uh, similar. So this flips up and down. <clears throat> so perhaps do him. <clears throat> maybe this one as well for January. Haven't done anything on the columns or the grind ball yet. But since I'm kind of motoring along. I think I might tackle some of these. These are the rest of the grind figures. I only got one per side. So I got four more on each side to go. Got some of the magnetizing done. Uh, but uh, I might do those. Who knows. So anyway, that's my update. And let me know about the uh, painting tutorial. Well, this is General Splatton. And I'll talk again. Dismissed.